Hello, we're going to start going over how to use smart music at home. And first, we're going to show you how to use it on the iPad. It's the same exact steps as using it on a computer or a laptop. Now, once you have created your account, following the instructions that I emailed home uh, and entering the class code that I sent you, you should have a similar view like I do here. This is a my fake student account that I've created for this uh, purpose of this video. I have over here on my dashboard my late assignments, which I'll change later. For most of you, you might see a bunch of late assignments. They're not late. I just have to reassign them a different way. We have our reassigned assignments. Uh, I've created a video earlier and kind of messed up, so I had to deal with this again. Um, then we have our pending assignments, which you should all have a whole bunch of access to. My graded assignments, which you might not have any because you haven't recorded anything for the computer or the software program. My recently opened titles. Uh, things you've currently been working on, and uh, practice analysis, which is pretty neat. You can actually get three different types of medals. Your discipline medal, following the directions here, what it tells you you can get, consistency medal, and discovery medal. And if you're trying to find out how far along you've gotten to that and how many times you've earned that medal, you can just go to open practice analysis. Go farther down and you can see the classes you're a part of. You can always join a new class with a, a different class code. However, you should all be in one, either at beginner, bravo, or honor. Either case, I have three because I want to make sure I have access to all three. Then we have the method books. Don't worry about it. You should only see one method book. I have the same method book for all three classes. Uh, it's a measure success for string orchestra book one, just because I want to have that available for you. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go back up and I'm going to show you how to use this program for assignments or for how to practice. Now, I've assigned uh, music to everybody here, whether it be a piece to work on for our concerts or the book itself. So go to pending assignments and let's click on see all. So click on see all. And of course, I have three classes here. I want to look at the beginner one just for this purpose of this video. Click on the beginner orchestra and you'll see a bunch of different assignments that I've selected just for the beginner orchestra students. Now, if you look at the very top or somewhere in the middle for most of you, there should be a Measures of Success String Orchestra Opus 1, 1 1.4 Delightful like I have here. Now this one was reassigned, so I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to click on it to start my assignment. Now when you click on it, you might not see anything at all. I, however, have done this assignment already, so I have my my pre-recorded uh, music, what I commented on, and so on. So I'm going to show you how to retake it or even complete the assignment is what the option you should see. Let's go to retake or complete assignment and some instructions should pop up. This one doesn't have any instructions, it's just for you to kind of uh, explore. Hit close and you should see the actual menu right here and the music below. You have the option for the accompaniment the my part and metronome. So the accompaniment is a special track that goes with the music for each different exercise. Then you have my part, which is the actual recording or um, selection MIDI file that's going on with your actual music you're supposed to play via this uh, highlighted uh, measure with the blue cursor, which you can follow when it plays. And of course, you have the metronome in the background. You can change the volume with these sliders. You can also mute them by clicking the orange speaker, and it will turn gray. Now, below the accompaniment part, there are two buttons, plus and minus, that can change the tempo, how fast the music plays. Now, as you can see, they are turning red, meaning that I have not uh, what meaning that I specified a specific tempo for this uh, test or this assessment assignment, if you will. And it only has to be at the assessment tempo. So to reset that, you hit the little um, swirled arrow that goes around in a circle to reset it back to the tempo it needs to be for the recording. But otherwise, you can practice at any tempo you want to. Now, if to do the assignment, you're going to look in the center here, this blue triangle. That means to play, to hear it, and the red circle to record yourself. So. Let's try just hearing it first to see what it sounds like.
And in the iPad, it makes a little funky sound at the end. I don't know why, it just does. On the computer and laptops, it doesn't do that. Now, you can change the volume of all three parts, the metronome, my, your actual instrument part, or the accompaniment. Now, to do that, you can either mute it or slide the volume. Let's see what that sounds like. While you play it, you can actually change it. No metronome. No part here for you to hear. And no accompaniment. And there's that funky sound at the end. Now, to do your actual playing test or your assignment, you want to record it. And to record it, make sure you have headphones plugged into your computer and or laptop or your iPad if you're using the iPad. Now, make sure that those headphones have a microphone built in so that way it can pick up the sound of your instrument. The reason why you want to use headphones is so the microphone on your computer or tablet or iPad rather, will not pick up the sound from the computer. It only picks up the instrument sound. And make sure that your instrument, of course, is in tune because it will grade on your accuracy. So let's give it a little look at what that sounds like. I will hit the record button and I am just gonna let it play and see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's that funky sound. Now you should see some green notes, some yellow circles, and in some cases, if you did pretty poorly with the wrong note or completely wrong timing, it'll be red. Now, what green notes mean is that you did well. That was exactly when you need played them, and it was in tune, obviously. If it's yellow, you notice that the yellow circle can be on either side of the note head, telling you that if it's on the left, it was too early. You played it too quickly, too soon, not on time. If it's on the right, you played it too late. It was a little too uh, slow. You didn't stay with the metronome. And of course, again, if it's red, it was completely wrong. Now, how do you know what grade you got? Because it automatically grades you. You go to the top right here, and it shows you in the drop-down menu what your grade was. You got an 81. Now you can try more than one time if you want to. Otherwise, you can hit submit. If you want to listen to your recording and see what it sounded like, you will go here and click on the yellow, I'm sorry, not yellow, the blue triangle with the red circle right next to it to hear your recording. Let's hear what that sounds like. So there's that recording without the microphone and headphone combination. Notice it gets really bad sounding, hence why I even made it 81. It should have been perfect, but the quality is really low and so the computer does not know how to analyze it. Use headphones with a microphone separate or built into the, mic uh, the headphone set, uh, which are really easy to find anywhere, HEB, Walmart, Walgreens, wherever you can find them. Now, submit it. If you think it's good enough or it's your best take, you can do multiple takes again and select whichever one you want to submit. Once you're ready, just hit submit, type in something like, I tried, or let's try, this was my best. And then hit submit, it'll record everything, send it to me for grading on my end, and you should be done from there. Once it's done, you hit close, and then you can do it again if you want to with other things. So um, let's go to another one, see what it looks like from the very beginning on my end. Hit the home button. There are some graded assignments here you can check on. Let's click on the graded assignments section to see what we got on our grade, because again, it grades automatically for you. Let's go to the beginner orchestra. Notice I have one done, and there's my grade up top already graded for me with an 81.25, which I'll just round up to 81. Um, and that being said, you can always relook at it and see what the comments I gave to you. So let's click on that. It was accepted. Okay, you can listen to it to review and see what grade you got, what I wrote down here in the comments section and what you wrote down here in the comments section. Okay, let's go back to home. And let's go to my pending assignments one more time. 
go back to beginner and let's pick another one. Let's go to something we've done more recently. How about trampoline? 1.27. Let's click on that. Again, this is what it looks like when you first start a new assignment that you have not done yet. So click on complete assignment, then select the instrument you play. Let's do cello just for the heck of it. So let's click on cello, hit OK, and it should populate the cello music. Now, usually, again, there are instructions specifically to what you need to have. But this, again, is just for your exploration for the first opus. So let's hit close. And again, there is a specific tempo you need to record this at. So when you change the tempo, it will turn red. And then you'll notice that in the center here, there will be an exclamation mark saying that you can't record or it won't be submitted properly. And if you need to start at any different part, you can always just click on any of the parts in the music and the measure will be highlighted and the note will be uh, highlighted by the cursor when it's going to start. We're going to start at the beginning and then we're going to do the same exact steps we did earlier for the previous assignment that we uh, re got reassigned and redid. So that's pretty much how you do it from there. And again, you can do it at any tempo you want to as long as by the time you want to submit it, you do it at the tempo it's required to. For example, in this one, is the tempo is 88. Now, let's go back home and check out one more thing. You can go search and explore all different types of books. For example, we can look at method books, solos, exercises, free selections that you can practice at home. Let's just look at one for example. Let's go to uh, solos, the bottom right hand corner. Click on solos and a whole bunch of different options are labeled out for you. Now you can filter out for band and orchestra. You can choose whatever instruments you want. Let's say you want to do uh, viola. Let's click on viola. There are some viola options. And now you have a bunch of viola options for you to play. Man, there's some probably easy stuff and hard stuff. On the right here, you should see some difficulty. Yellow is pretty difficult. Green is, is uh, easy. And there's some ones that are going to be way harder than that. So let's try, uh, let's try adagio. This is a whole full orchestra movement. Let's try uh, with the viola. Let's see if we can find it. Viola. There's viola. And let's open it up. This should be pretty interesting. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Now, this was not an easy piece, but it'll be easy to kind of see how to play this part on the viola with everybody else because you can turn your part on to listen to and you can turn off and lower the accompaniment to see what the other parts sound like. So let's take a listen to it. That's taking a long time to get to our part. Let's click on our measure. Oh, look at that. I selected the measure. We start playing. So let's hit play. Let's just listen to our part, the viola part. That's a trill. Listen to the rest of it. Let's pause it. Let's go to this cool little part at the bottom. Let's scroll down. Let's click on this measure. Let's see what that sounds like. That's kind of fun. So have fun with it. You have 